For the questions, we know that there are four pens. One red pen, one green pen, and two blue pens. These four boxes represent the first chosen pen, and these four boxes represent the second chosen pen. This is the first blue pen, this is the second blue pen. This is the first blue pen, second blue pen. Since the pen is chosen without the placement, so it's not possible to get two red pens, two green pens, or two blue pens. Therefore, the sample space of Calculate the probability of choosing two pens of the same color. Two pens of the same color means these two possible outcomes. Two mean these two possible come. Twelve mean the total sample space. Method two. Two pens of the same color. It means the first pen is blue color and the second pen is blue color. By using the formula, we change n to multiply. The probability of choosing first pen, which is blue color. Is the total number of blue pens divided by the total number of pens before first pen is chosen. The probability of choosing second pen which is blue color is the total number of blue pens after first blue pen is chosen divided by the total number of pens after first pen is chosen. Total number of blue pens is 2. And the total number of pens before first pen is chosen is 4 because there are 4 pens. And total number of blue pens after first blue pen is chosen is 1. The total number of pens after first pen is chosen is 3. So the answer is 1 per 6. Letter B mean this row. Odd number mean this column and this column. All means all the highlighted possible outcomes. If the all change to N, A, and D, it means the overlapping possible outcome mean these two only. If the word all change to N mean these two possible outcomes. If all means all the highlighted possible outcomes. So the probability is 9 over 12. There are 9 highlighted possible outcomes. 12 means there are total 12 possible outcomes. Then simplify it. And the answer is 3 over 4. Method 2. Let's the event of getting a ball labeled with the letter B as B. Let's the events of getting an odd number as O by using the formula PB plus PO minus PB multiply PO. This is the formula. Remember PB is 1 over 4. 1 because there is only 1 B. Or because there are four letters. PO is 2 over 3. 2 because there are two odd numbers, 1 and 3. 3 because there are three numbers. Therefore, the answer is 3 over 4. Let X is an odd number as O and Y is an even number as E then using the formula this equals PO plus PE minus PO multiply PE you must remember this formula PO is 2 over 3 2 
because they are only two odd numbers, 3 and 9. 3 because there are 3 numbers in set X. PE is 2 over 4. 2 because they are only 2 even numbers in set Y, 6 and 8. 4 because there are 4 numbers in set Y. Thus, the answer is 5 over 6. Let x is a multiple of 3 as m and y is a factor of 24 as f. By using the formula, this equals pm multiply pf. pm is 3 over 3. 3 because there are 3 multiple of 3 in set x and this 3 cos there are 3 numbers in set x. pf is 2 over 4. 2 because there are 2 factors of 24 in set 5. There are 6 and 8. 4 because there are 4 numbers in set y. Therefore, the answer is 1 over 2. p means probability. Malaysia Team lose represent by M prime. Indonesia team lose represent by I prime. N N. By using the formula, this equals P M prime multiply P I prime. The probability of Malaysia lose the game is is given that the probability Malaysia win is one over three. So lose. 1 minus 1 over 3 equals 2 over 3. The probability of Indonesia team lose is given that Indonesia team win is 2 over 3. Lose 1 minus 2 over 3 equals 1 over 3. So the answer is 2 over 9. The opposite of this is Malaysia team and Thailand team win the game. This is the opposite of this. So to find this, 1 minus. When we see the term either or at least, we should always think about the opposite of the event. This by using formula is PM multiply PT. PM means the probability that Malaysia team win, which is 1 over 3. PT means the Thailand team win. Indonesia team win 2 over 3. Thailand team win is 1 minus 2 over 3 equals 1 over 3. Therefore, the answer is 8 over 9.